Good morning, everyone. So welcome to the introduction class of Python. So today we are going to learn about what is Python, and then we will be understanding our go basic course structure. So how we have divided the entire course into different parts, and how we will be uh, taking this go forward. So today we will be discussing the uh, basic things and how we will download the software. Also, that also I will be discussing with you in second part. So let's start. So, so, is my screen visible to all of you? Well, let me show you. Fine. So what is Python? Uh, that we will discuss. Uh, not what is Python, like why we use Python. So in this entire course, what we will do, like uh, we will discuss the important concept, uh, important technical concept, which will be applicable for us uh, during our course. Otherwise, we will not discuss like technical terms. OK, so whatever will be required for you, uh, considering that you are uh, you have just passed become or you are uh, entering into either pursuing or entering into like uh, advanced course. So I'll be considering that profile and then I'll be taking you through the through this course. OK, so I'll show you what we have covered in this structure. And before that, I will like to introduce myself. My name is Prachi Patwari. I have uh, experience in finance domain of around seven years. So I did my MBA from Nashi Munji and thereafter I joined Edelweiss, then Motila. So I worked in uh, several companies related to stock market. So I have a strong passion towards like, stock market. And again, uh, like you will ask me like uh, how I am teaching, like how it is related to my profile. Like I have a deep like uh, passion for uh, coding languages and for like uh, computer applications and everything. So I have a good expertise in, I will not say good expertise, like uh, I'm, I think I consider myself better than average in Excel. And then Python also, I am I have just started learning. So I will hope, I will like uh, expect that you guys will also help me during this course structure. So we will keep on discussing the entire syntax and uh, I'll tell you, like there are many python is very simple uh, it is very easy because i have learned c++ also so compared to that i found python very simple okay so i'll try to like uh, uh, we will try to discuss uh, most of the times like the different ways of doing the same things and we will be moving forward okay so starting with like uh, i have uh, i will try to show you the uh, entire module what we are going to do so you will get the basic idea of uh, how we are going to because this entire module like there are four modules so it will take long time okay and we have tried to cover most of the things that are like uh, popular nowadays in python so we have tried to cover most of the things in, in these modules and if we uh, like get something which uh, like comes up or it is interesting then we will try to cover that also in our course structure okay so this is our module one so here like the basic things are there and this is the advanced uh, like uh, the advanced financial tools okay so module well I'll, I'll explain you in detail like there are four modules module one it's a fundamental then module two so what is uh, covered over here I'll tell you like stock market concept. So it is entirely the first one is related to fundamentals and uh, basic financial tools. OK, and the seven second one is related to uh, more into is it's more into like stock market concept and advanced financial concepts. OK, so EMH, uh, uh, EWMA and then Arima. These are like these are the concept which will help you in developing like algo trading. So finally, what we will be doing in module two, we will be learning uh, stock market concept, uh, advanced financial tools, and then we will be applying those uh, tools in uh, in this two parts, like algo trading and futures trading, which is a uh, like deviation of algo trading. Okay, so this this is very interesting module for those who are like very interested in stock market course, and for others also, if you are pursuing finance, then this uh, algo trading is must for you. 
in the third part what we have covered like some interesting concepts are there web scrapping web mapping web development so why we have kept this thing so to learn the more advanced thing because we will be knowing the basic things from the module one some advanced concepts from uh, stock market concept from the module two and three will help us to enhance those concepts okay so how we can like if the data is not available how we can take it from other sources so this will help us to develop those other sources so which is not easily available so this is a bit advanced concept uh here we will learn database web app this is very interesting geocoder web app so uh, you will find like uh, if you get into the advanced module so then your concept of the of the basic uh, basic concept will be developed further and then also it will help you to develop uh, strong softwares okay so where uh, like a huge application of python is there so it will help you in developing those things okay and you can also customize it i'll explain you that thing while discussing other topics so this is the module four and for me it is the most interesting like uh, nowadays uh, like you uh, hear the term automation so automation is the uh, like most widely popular term right nowadays so web browsing automation then email automation then apps automation these three automation uh, i have put it in module four and like it will help you a lot because entire like uh, nowadays uh, many things are dependent on automation okay so here we will learn how we will automate our task daily task then any task you can automate so these will be through web browsing then through email automation how you we, we will be going uh, how we will be doing that that will be covered in the module four okay so these are the four modules module one module two module three module four okay so for module one uh, actually one is each module is dependent on the other module so to understand module two you need to know module one to understand module three you need to know module two and module one because module one will be will be giving you the basic ideas but you will be able to develop like a good concept in module two okay so for module three module one is a must module two you can like think of skipping but for uh, module two is uh, module one is a must okay module one is a must for all the uh, this concept okay so first we will be doing module one and this module will be a bit uh, like in a slow manner i'll be uh, practicing many, many concepts over here because it's not difficult module one is very simple but uh, your base should be developed so we will be taking the each and entire each concept we will be explaining you in a very detailed manner and then we will be practicing many examples so that uh, we are able to like do the advanced tools okay advanced uh, modules and for four i will suggest like all the three modules are important okay because uh, uh, for self automation like if you want to automate everything then you have to learn how you will like uh, relate everything to python then only you will be able to automate you need the content to automate right so uh, just learning automation will not suffice it will be better if you do all the three modules before moving to module 4 okay so in module 1 there are two parts so uh, in part 1 we will be doing first of all we will be learning the basics so i'll explain you in like in a short uh, manner so what is syntax syntax is generally write the writing the coding codes okay so that uh, we call it syntax okay so we will be learning how to write the syntax and then what are the different data types operators conditional statements so you must your uh, functions then list then tuples dictionaries and loops okay so most of the words you must have heard you have the basic idea if you are doing other programming language like uh, conditional statement this is covered in excel also in r also in many things right in many programming so this is if statement if and else so how you write in python these are the basics okay but when you are developing like a more advanced concept then you need to know how to write the basic okay so this is the abc of python okay so syntax then data types then operators so what is operator how you will use so you have to keep on practicing it so that you remember when to use which type of uh, this thing syntax okay so this will help you okay so for uh, like uh, for 3 3 i think uh, three three topics we have like entire class on that of four parts so we will we have taken the concept in a very proper manner and those which is relevant to you that we have explained you in a much detailed manner right 
and the in a part uh, another part in part one of uh, sub part uh, i'll say sub part two we will be learning about object oriented programming so i'll take uh, this is a technical thing so this i will explain you so only those concepts which will be relevant again and again I, I will be repeating this term so only those concepts which will be relevant for you that only will be covered in over here okay then how to import libraries how to import modules then how to organize the data how to find out the data extract data and organize them for your application purpose that we will be learning over here so these are the basic this is advanced python so this is the fundamental python in part one where we have covered the basics and the advanced python and in the second part of the module one second part of the module one we will be covering the finance part so this is your basic python and this is your basic finance okay so in finance part first we will be discussing uh, this we will be explaining you these terms okay so what it is uh, how we calculate it manually okay so uh, sir will be taking some of the classes so he will explain you by uh, praveen sir will be taking some of the classes so he will explain you in detail what are these concepts and how you calculate it and then what i will do like i'll explain you how you can do the same thing using python and how faster you can do it how efficiently and uh, what is the use of what is the role of python in using this concept uh, for using this concept okay so this we will be discussing okay so you will get the if you are pursuing like advanced uh, uh, cfa or if you are using a cfa level 2 if you are in uh, level 2 or you are doing pursuing uh, ca or mba so these concepts will help you because you will come across these terms okay in finance domain uh, you generally come across these terms so these are the basic concepts stock return risk uh, diversifying port port portfolio di diversification we call it then correlation, then regression, then form investment, then investment portfolio, then Markowitz efficient frontier analysis, stock beta, KPM, multivariate regression, and then uh, Monte Carlo. So these are some of the uh, advanced uh, this financial concept, and these are the basic financial concept. So both we will be covering over here. We will be ex giving you many examples to uh, make your uh, like concept better. If even if you know this concept, then it will help you. Like uh, the theory classes will help you to like uh, make your concept uh, much clearer. Okay, and then through Python, we will be able to like uh, build the software based on these topics. Okay, so this is how we will move in our four modules. Okay, so four modules, and in module one, part one, part two is there, and we are starting with the part one of module one. Okay, so first of all, we will discuss why Python is so popular. Okay, so Python, this software is named uh, uh, after a snake, you know, Python. So uh, why it is so popular? Because uh, I just told you, like, we will be using uh, very few financial concept, uh, sorry, very few technical concept, technical terms. So uh, these are three terms which you should know, OK? Because I am also from non-engineering background. So I will not be using those terms which will compli uh, complicate you, which you won't be able to understand. We will try to do it in a very simple and very uh, easy manner. OK, so uh, I will just explain you which you should know. OK, so these are the these are very simple words. So you should know because uh, even if you will not know this term, then it will look because you are pursuing like a, like a coding language like Python. So you should know these terms. OK, so uh, what is, I have divided into three parts like open source software, general purpose, high level. So whenever anyone will ask you what is Python or uh, why we use Python, you can say it is a open source general purpose high level programming language. So what these terms mean? So open source software. Open source means it is freely available. Okay, you can easily download it. We will see it uh, uh, while we will be downloading the software. So you can easily download it. And secondly, it has a like uh, scientific community with access to the software source code. So you can get the source code of uh, like many applications which is built over the Python, and you can use easily customize them and use them. Okay, so there is a wide community of Python. So I'll explain you this uh, this thing again. Uh, like you see, uh, so android got very popular so what was the reason behind its popularity because uh, the applications the mobile applications which uh, which was available in android it was freely available right in more in ios you have to like pay for getting the software 
but in uh, android it was freely available there were many softwares which you can easily download it easily customize and uh, uh, use it uh, there are many applications were available there right so that's why android got so popular so the same reason was python it is a very wide community uh, you will see i'll show you the communities also in our like uh, in later on like uh, classes uh, there is a github community where you can get source code of many uh, program uh, this programs basic programs which is built on python and then what you can do you can just copy those codes uh, you are uh, download those codes and you can customize this according to your requirement and you can you create your own application in python so that's why this python got so popular okay because it is open source software okay it is easily available to everyone so next we will discuss what is general purpose so why we call it general purpose general purpose because it has a, a wide application so we saw we have four modules so did you see that uh, how differently it is used like here we are using it for financial tools then for algo trading then for web scraping like this is web application part data analysis we will be doing through that then automation thing so we are also covering like four parts so we can see how like broad it can be it can be used for web programming and financial data analysis then analysis of big data and then many applications are there which is built on python uh, which will come across they will we will be discussing that uh, how many companies are how different companies are using python for their uh, daily programming and everything so we will be discussing that in our uh, in this class so uh the, the second term is general purpose okay so that's why it got popular uh then the next one is high level so what you mean by high level high level means like uh, uh the syntax this the code which is used in python it is very simple compared to other programming languages so it, which makes it very easy to learn okay that is it is that's why it is called high level because you just write the simple syntax and you uh, cre create application on python and you do like a complex uh, for complex calculation like simple syntax is there okay you don't have to write like seven to eight codes i'll show you the an example of high level so this is uh, like i have given example like to calculate just a basic uh, this thing uh, six plus five for calculating that in c plus plus we used to write so many codes so many lines of code so they are one two three four five six seven seven line of codes are there just to calculate six plus five okay and in python we can easily do using two lines of code uh right we just write six plus five oh sorry it's a single line of code okay so just write six plus five you will get 11 and here what you have to do you have to uh create one variable five then six and then you have to add it to get 11 okay so that's why python has become so popular now i will explain you just i'll do the uh, basic reading like why pop, uh, python popularity lie on two main pillars one is that it is easy to learn programming language that we have already discussed right now designed to be highly readable with the syntax quite clear and intuitive so the syntax is very clear also it is very logically formed and it is very easy to understand so that's why python is popular and the second is its user friendliness uh, uh, so you can do uh, like complex competition uh, easily okay so that's why it is preferred by uh, this specialist and everyone okay and that is the reason it got so popular fine so moving just a second so basics of programming so here again some technical terms are there which will help you to understand so these are not necessary i have explained you because you should know okay so uh, you know computer understands only one language it understands just if anything you, which you will give uh, you have to give it in the uh, in the language of one and zero okay it understand that language only one and zero so you have to write everything in terms of one and zero then only computer will be able to understand your what you are trying to communicate it so for you doing that thing what you what we do we use a software which converts our whatever we want to tell the computer which converts our language into the language of computer that is zero and one okay and then computer uh, calculates it do the com complex calculation and then return the 
feedback then return the output which is again con uh, converted by the software into our language which is easily understandable by us okay so if we give it the uh, like input of 6 plus 5 then what the software do the software do convert it into in the terms of 1 and 0 and then it gives it back in the form of uh, 11 right so this is and what we call uh, what is what is the term used for uh, doing this thing that is called programming okay so what is programming programming is taking a task writing it down in a programming language that the computer can understand and execute okay so any task it takes out it uh, write it down so uh, program is actually a sequence of in instruction that designate how to execute a computation so then this entire thing which i tried to explain to you that is a program and when uh, you write a, a task and do this function that is called programming okay is it simple fine so you give a sequence of instruction that designate how to execute a computation okay so that is called program and programming is right taking a task writing it down like breaking the task uh, many programs create a programming okay so we will be doing programming in python so this i've explained you now this example we have discussed already now i'll be explaining i will be showing you like the companies who are using python okay so some of the screenshots uh, this i have taken from wikipedia uh, uh in the right side you will see like there is generally the description like in the short description is there about everything so there from there i have taken like uh, which are the companies who are using python and how they are using okay so google we all know uh, so google's first uh, search engine uh, which are uh, we are widely using nowadays so that is written in python so you can see like how like essential and how like advanced this python is okay how helpful it is like, uh, like uh, you will see in most of the application, we are actually using Python uh, uh, each each moment and for many applications. Okay, so you can see in its page. So it's written in Python, C and C plus plus. Okay, so the person who developed Python actually he was uh, working. He was a person behind Google search engine. So he uh, wrote the entire language in Python, entire thing in Python. Okay, so Instagram. This also uses Python on its backend, okay? Then Yahoo is using in its backend. And then CERN and NASA, these are the international organization. Most of us are aware about them. So they are also, for some of their application, they are using Python, okay? Next, uh, Reddit, this is a social uh, networking, like news channel, news networking site is, is entirely written in Python. So the entire website is written in Python. You can see over here, there's no other language like Python is there. Okay. So Reddit is completely written in Python. Then the Dropbox, the person who developed the Dropbox, he's the person uh, who is called father of, uh, so his name is uh, Von Rossum. So he, he, uh, he was a person who developed uh, a Dropbox. Okay. So uh, earlier he was working in Google, then he de developed his own software. So Dropbox storage service codes, its server as well as uh, client software in Python. Okay. So, and then Discuss is there. Discuss is the plugin uh, which is used in Facebook, uh, in Twitter, in many, uh, like com for comments, for writing comments. So that is also written in Python. Then Quora, most of us nowadays use Quora. So this is also written in Python. You can see over here, it's written in Python and C++. Okay. So most of the languages you will see most of the websites which is which is developed in python so you can also like check other websites which are developed over python okay so moving on we will be moving on we will be like learning how to uh, how to download the software so we will be uh, like uh, ending this part and then we will be coming back and just check how to download the software so those who already have the software uh, who have already uh, like installed the software they can skip that class and move to the third part or if you have any issue with the software if you are using macbook or so any issue you are facing then you please watch that video and download the updated software okay for the previous lectures we were using 3.7 now we are using 3.8 and I'll be showing you how to install, download and install 3.8 in, in my next video. Okay, so thank you and we will be meeting again.